everybody. Um, this is, should be my last demo, hopefully. Uh, I wanted to do this because uh, in looking over everyone's work and that last time we did an online class, I saw some of the people, some of the images people made were pretty low resolution. Um, actually, you can just, we can look at those really quickly. Like, see how this is, if I just open this up in preview, it's, such a, it's, it's a really big image. Um, see, this is a really nice, big, clear image. Let's see if we can find some examples that weren't. Mm. So, like, this is this is a, this is clear, but it's still it's still it's still pretty small, right? So, if I open it up in preview, um, it's pretty small, right? So, I could even click info about it. Oops, that didn't work. Um, Anyway, it's pretty small, right? Um, same here, right? It does the job, right? It looks good. Some of them are really blurry. I can't find any examples right now. So what I want you to do for your final, though, is if you're working in Google Sheets, which is perfectly acceptable, I want you to make a full screen. You could even really get crazy and go into your system preferences. Um, my computer's slow. You could go to your system set preferences, go into your displays, and this is similar in PC. It's not hard to find. And you can, no, that's not right. I want to go to, should be displays. Well, anyway, you should be able to change your resolution somewhere. Maybe it's here in desktop. Hmm. Well, anyway, maybe this is with this new Mac update, you can't do it. Anyway, um, your your screen, if if you use your Google Sheets in full screen, it should be plenty large, right? So let's say let's just I'm going to make some art really fast. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to maybe I can even make my um, cells even smaller. I can make all of my individual cells smaller to create create a lot create a lot larger thing. You guys know how this works. Let's just say I'm going to make a piece. I'm going to make this sort of ochre, this weird brown thing, and then I'm going to like make a make another area, another color, and another area. Another color, so far, so far, uh, you know, I'm making art, I'm making art, I'm making art. And the point is, once I'm satisfied with my piece, this is fun. One more, make it like a weird gray. Once I like my piece, right, um, you can always zoom in and out. Yeah, look at that. If you hold down Command and hit plus minus, you guys all know this, you can get a really big canvas working space. So I could select this. I could copy it by, you know, selecting it all, hitting Command C, copying it. Then I could del delete it. Well, you can't really delete it, but I could change this huge area to, let's say, this color, and then I can select somewhere in the middle and I can paste it. That actually landed right in the middle. I'm pretty proud of myself. Anyway, you can see how I can just keep zooming out forever and ever, and I can get. I guess this is as far as it goes. It goes to. It goes to Z. I wonder if you can add any more columns. Uh, anyway, that's a pretty huge canvas, right? So, I want to zoom once. I, once I'm done with my piece, I want to zoom in to where I can get as much of it on my screen as possible. And it looks like it looks like that is the best I can do. Maybe if I cropped off a little bit, let's say I took off a little bit of this thing. Now, if, if you're making this in Adobe Illustrator, for example, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So I'm going to take off these top three. Change those to white. If you were making this in Adobe Illustrator, it would be high resolution as all get out. It would be vectorized. You could print it on the side of a bus. It would look crystal clear. Uh, we want to make sure and turn off our grid lines, and we can see that real color interaction. And so, yeah, this is basically as big as I can get it, right? Now, again, if you're on a PC, you want to hit print screen on your keyboard, and then that's going to save that to your um, clipboard. It's going to save that to your memory, and you want to, oh, and you can then paste it into Photopea, right? Um, and the way to do that, well, here, we'll do that in a second, actually, if you wanted to work with Google Sheets and Photopea. Um, so let's just say I want to uh, take a screenshot of this video. On a Mac, I can do it all really easily. If I hold down Shift, Command, Four, I can go get my little crosshair thing here, and I'm going to select the furthest corner of this. And sometimes you guys like will just like take this picture, and you can see how if I like I view this, it's got all this other crap in there. You don't want that. Get rid of that. I'm going to screenshot it, and I'm going to get right up in this corner because this is crap. We care about we care about presentation. We care about perfection here, right? So I'm going to get in there and really nicely photograph that thing. So great, looks good. Now if I minimize my screen, it's going to save that onto the, this is our first one. This is no good. It's got all this other bullshit. Pardon my French. I'm sick of seeing that stuff. I know some people may think it doesn't matter, but it does. Uh, this is, this is digital art. This isn't this isn't on a gallery wall or on a museum wall yet, but it's still art. And to do that, we need to get rid of all this stuff that doesn't matter, like all that toolbar nonsense. And that's my piece, right? So if you make a, if you guys are going to make some sick work, and so this is now ready to send to the screen printer, and I could say put this on a T-shirt. Boom, it's done. Okay. So don't. So make a nice image. Make it big, and the way I made it big was I made it fill my screen before I before I uh, made the screenshot. All right, now let's say we want to then put that into Photopea. And some of you may have other programs. Some people have talked about using uh, Clip Studio. Uh, other people have access to Adobe products. I'm sure there's all sorts of programs you can use. Um, Next week, we're going to talk about how everyone's doing, and if you all have different programs you want to introduce, please do. In the meantime, if you want to run them by me as well, um, I would love to hear about it. I, I, and and, I, and I, I, I want to hear what y'all's plans are so that I can protect you from, from making, not, not making mistakes, making mistakes is good, but, but I could say, no, don't use that program. That program's crap for these reasons. I can, I can kind of warn you. Uh, but anyway, let's say let's say let's go back to this copy. Let's say I, I'm going to make I'm going to copy a smaller section of this, and I can tell it's nice and symmetrical. I'm going to copy it, and and that's it should be. I don't know if it's copied to my clipboard like with Windows, but anyway, it's saved. Um, now I'm going to go to Photo P, and if you go if you click new, go to photop.com, click new project. Now it gives you all these different options right here on the left side, all these different templates. And so this is social media stuff. I'm going to click screen. Now I know my setup well enough to know that I have this. Actually, I don't have an HD 1920 by 1080p. That's roughly a two to one rectangular uh, proportion, right? The width is almost uh, twice as large as uh, the height, not not quite. I have I have closer to a three by four, which is something like, hmm, let's say it's this one, sixteen hundred by nine hundred, something like that. Um, might even be that one. Screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna select the full HD because that looks like that's my biggest, or even this two K, or this freaking four K. I'm just going to pick the biggest working service I can find. This is this 4K one. You can also enter in whatever you want. You could select inches. 
and you could make this, let's just say, make a 20 by 20 canvas. The reason I'm doing this is because I want it to be overkill and then I can resize it later. I don't want to start with the canvas that's too small. I'm going to change my DPI to 300, that's print quality. 72 is fine for computer screens, but it's still low quality. So I'm going to set mine to 300 DPI. This is crucial, you guys, you've you got to do this. So we're skipping all this, actually. I'm going to make a big canvas uh, right up here. I'm going to customize it myself. It's going to give me a big square.